ambaye nitakuwa nazungumza na Venant Ndihila ni mkuu wa vitengo katika shirika la Msalaba Mwekundu na vile vile Pius Masai ni mtaalamu wa majanga na wote watakuwa natueleza pengine ni vipi tunapaswa kuwa tayari kuchukua tahadhari kabla ya hatari yoyote humu nchini ili tuse tukajipata katikati ya majanga aina hii na kupoteza maisha. Haya, mtazamaji mimi ni Cecilia Wakesho Mathuva na tumai hujambo popote ulipo. Karibu. Moja kwa moja tuanze na taarifa kwamba takriban watu watatu wamefariki huku zaidi ya watu mbili na sabini wakipata majeraha kwenye mlipuko wa gesi katika eneo la Embakasi. Mlipuko huu uliotokea majira ya saa usiku alhamisi ulisambaa kwenye maeneo yaliyoko karibu. Moto huu ulizuka baada ya lori lililokuwa limebeba mitungi ya gesi kulipuka kwenye kampuni ya Containers Company Limited karibu na eneo la Kabansora. Moto huu ulienea hadi kwenye magala yanayomilikiwa na kiwanda cha Oriental. Na bila shaka tumsikilize naib inspector wa polisi Douglas Kanja kuhusiana na taarifa hii this morning uh, so that uh, we can first of all uh, get to understand what uh, has uh, happened overnight the fire started at around uh, 23 that uh, hours um late last uh, evening um number one i want to say a big thank you to the uh, police service the entire police service did a sterling job of course together together with others uh, the ka team uh, the national disaster uh, teams uh, and the rest and in fact even the the local people they join us together so that we can be able to save the majority of the people uh, who needed uh, that uh, support from the word go and number two uh having gone around uh, massive damage have uh, have been uh, uh, caused by the massive explosions it is true uh, it is uh, it was caused by gas, but um, na, again, we have already commenced the investigations. The DCA is had uh, instructions uh, to take a maximum of 14 days to complete and give us a finding and a recommendation on the same, so that uh, other processes can also be able to start. Right now, we have uh, a 271 uh, people admitted in various uh, hostels in Nairobi. Uh, the bulk of them, the majority of them are admitted in Mamaruse, or a hostel, 150 in number. We have uh, 21 who are also treated on site here and are allowed to go back to their homes. And we have three fatalities. Um, as I have said there earlier, investigations are, have already started. DCA is here with us. And um, this area generally is a, is a, is a, is a, is a, is a crime scene that uh, requires to be preserved so that investigations can be carried out. Number two, I also want to, to thank the local member of parliament. He has also been uh, around with these people, very, very supportive also. And we want to, uh, to say a big thank you. Uh, as I so far, uh, that's what we have. But I also want to confirm to you that we have a command center here. Uh, for any other person who would like to get any other information, the command center is very, very useful for that. It is headed by our OCPD, who is with, with me here, um, and he will be there to give out any kind of information that is required going forward. Nam bila shaka mtazamaji huyo ni naibu inspector wa polisi Douglas Kanja kitupa tathmin kuhusiana na mkasa huo ambao ulivyo kuarifu ulitokea hapo mwendo wa satano usiku katika mtawa Embakasi na tunavyozungumza watu watatu wamepoteza maisha yao huku tukiambiwa kwamba wengine moja wako katika hospitali mbali mbali katika jiji la Nairobi. Na sasa nataka moja kwa moja tuelekee kwake mwanabari mwenzangu Beldin wale ule ambaye yuko katika hospitali ya Mama Lucy atueleze aliko vipi Beldin ujambo na tumai wanipata kikamilifu pengine tueleze hali ya majeruhi iko vipi wameendelea kumiminika kwa sasa na je kuna wale pengine wameelekezwa katika hospitali zingine 
Naam kuja mbo wa kesho na tumai sija kwa nianza vyema ni kwa katika hospitali ya Malusi eneo la Embakasi ambapo hospitali ambayo ime ime uh, imepata ugonjwa wengi sana na wasiri wengi sana wa mkataba wa moto ambao umefanyika eneo la Embakasi kwa jumla umepokea zaidi ya wagonjwa mia mbili uh, kutoka kwa mkataba huo tukuta kulingana na mkurugenzi wa daktari hospitali hii daktari Martin Ofula ambaye amezungumza tu muda mfupi uliopita anasema kwamba wame walipokea wagonjwa ama watiriwa mia moja sena tisa jana usiku wa mapuwa liwashugulikia saba kati yao waka pelekwa katika hospitali ya kenyata kwa hivyo likuwa na majiraha ambayo ya nazidi ambayo ya nazidi asibinia sena nane uh, kuna ya saba kati yao waka pelekwa katika hospitali ya ya kenyata referral na kwa sasa wanasema kwa mba wako na ambulance saba ambazo ziko uh, tusume ziko ziko uh, kwenye standby ku kwa shugulikia wagoncho wengine ambao labda wadetaji kutasirisho ya adeto zingine lakini wanasema kwa mba wale ambao wamesalia hapa Uh, takriban ni moja msizaji zaidi ya moja hamsini wako katika hali shwari uh, wanazidi kupokea matibabu wengine wameachiliwa ambao kwa na majeraha sugu wameachiliwa kwenda nyumbani uh, na kwa sasa viongozi wa kaunti ya Nairobi wakiongozwa na seneta uh, seneta Sifuna ser, uh, kuna pia mbunge wa Embakasi Mashariki uh, Babu Owino pia tuko na uh, mwakilishi wanawake Esther Pasaris ambaye wamefika eneo hili kwanza tunataka uh, sifuna ambaye akizungumzia na wale amesema kwamba wa Kenya waje katika hospitali uh, uh, hii kwanza ya Somalia ianze kutoa huduma ya afya kwa wale wasiriwa bila malipo yote ili kwamba uh, uh, wakati na wakati Esther Pasaris ameta wito kwa wakazi Nairobi waje kutoa damu ili kuwasaidia wagonjwa wa katika hospitali ambao wanahitaji damu na pia umeomba kwamba shirika la NHIF iweze kutoa fedha bado zinazo zina hii ya mamalusi na dai fedha hizo ili kushughulikia wagonjwa katika hospitali hii. Uh, kwa hivyo bado naona wagonjwa wakikimbia, nimeona watoto ambao wameachiliwa vibaya na mtafuta wa moto. Huko pia uh, mbunge Mbakasi anasema kwamba kuna watoto ambao wamepotea uh, eneo la Mbakasi uh, wakati wa kasafuta. Kwa hivyo pia mwisho kwamba watoto ambao wamepotea waweze kufanya kwa kituo vya polisi waweze kupata wazazi wao waweze kuunga na wasiliwa kadhaa ambao wanasema wapoteza kila kitu mali zao wazipotea nyumba zipotea wengine hawajui pale ambapo familia zao zipo na ule ambaye ajeta mtoto wake iko wapi mtoto wako wapi kwani alipatikana tu kama ameathiriwa na mtoto huyo wakati hapo salini kwa hivyo pia shughuli za kutafuta wapendo wao aziendelea katika maeneo tofauti lakini kwa sasa wale wagonjwa ambao katika swali hili ya mamalusi wengi wao uh, wanaleta kama sababu hawakuja hali mahututi ila wako na majeraha ambayo ni tuku kidogo kutokana na mkasa huo wa moto kwa hivyo mwisho tu kwa wakazi wa Nairobi sija kutoa damu yao ili kusaidia wale mkasa wa uh, mkasa wa moto na pia uh, shughuli zikiendelea kufanyika ni lipi ilipokea mkasa huo wa moto eneo la Embakasi kwa hapo wakisho na mbelin pengine kabla uondoke nieleze tu wale ambao umezungumza nao hususan wale wametibiwa na kuruhusiwa kuelekea manyumbani unapozungumza nao wanakupa taswira gani pengine nini kilichojiri kabla yao kujipata katika hospitali hiyo ya mama Lucy kwa mfano wakitibiwa na mkoana ambao nimezungumza nao wengi wao wanasema kwamba walikuwa wamelala usiku hasa wale ambao wanatoka eneo la Mradi ambali karibu na eneo la tukio la mkasa huo anasema kwamba kwa hao walikuwa wamelala usiku kidogo kidogo kasikia mlipuko kama wa bomu hivi kidogo kidogo kasikia ni kama vioo vya madirisha tunapasuka milango inatetemeka kutoka nje wengi wao wakapata wanabutua kwamba moto umeenea sana na hawezi kukwepa kwa hiyo walikuwa wanakuja wakikwepa watakuwa na ndani kwa moto kwa hivyo wengi wao wali abasika tu kuponea chupu chupu kuponea maisha yao wengine walishindwa kuokoa mali zao nyumba zimechukuka zote kuna yule ambaye ameniambia uh, yule ambaye anaishi naye kuna mmoja ambaye nimezungumza naye kaniambia alikuwa anaishi na rafiki yake na kwa sasa juu rafiki yake yuko wapi kama alibachukua nyumba kaungua ama alitoroka uh, alitoroka uh, kwingine kwa hivyo uh, wale ambao kwa hapa wengi wao uh, wako na wasiwasi kwani wajui watu ambao waliosha nyumbani wako vipi ama kama waliokolewa ama walifariki uh, kwa hivyo ni hali ya wasiwasi kwa wagonjwa wakiendelea kupokea matibabu katika swali hii ya mama Lucy uh, waki waki, 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 uh, waki tarajia kwamba wale ambao waliosha nyumbani uh, waza, uh, wako sawa na pia wazazi wengi wanaofia na watoto wao kwani wengi waliokolewa wakati wa sio nyumbani hawajui sio uko vipi kwa hivyo wanatumai kwamba uh, shughuli ya kutafuta ambao wamepotea hasa watoto uh, watapatikana kabla labda sikujaisha 
ama kwa ile asante sana Beldin waliaula tuendelea kutoa pole zetu kwa wale ambao wamepotezwa upendo wao na kwa wale ambao wanaendelea kupata matibabu basi tuwatakia afueni ya haraka mtazamaji tukisalia katika pumzi hiyo hiyo nataka tuelekee katika mtoa embakasi ambapo mwanahabari mwenzangu Kelvin Yakundi ameendelea kufuatilia matukio pale na hali jinsi ilivyo tuungane naye kwa njia ya simu Kevin Nyakundi pengine tuambie ni sasa mchana unaelekea hivi sijui hali kwa vipi hapo kwa sasa ni kina nani wako hapo pengine wanafanya nini Aya basi hawa kesho tuko katika eneo la mradi uh, embakasi pale ambapo jana ulitokea mkasa wa moto ambao uh, ulilipua um, mitungi ya gesi ambayo ilikuwa katika eneo hili na tulipata tu, tumepata kufika hapa mwendo wa asubuhi Uh, na tuliweza kupokea uh, watu uh, watu katika kutoka eneo kitengo cha Red Cross uh, walikuwa hapa mwendo mwendo wa asubuhi na mapema kabisa walikuwa wanajaribu kuokoa uh, watu ambao walikuwa wameumia uh, hivi sasa uh, msemaji wa wa serikali Isaac Kumaura amefika Uh, tunamngoja ili aweze kutupatia um, the latest when it comes to uh, issues when uh, do uh, in relation with the fire that uh, was in this area so far what we know is that we have uh, close to three people who have lost their lives uh, from this uh, particular uh, explosion that happened yesterday and uh, the residents around this area uh, have been condoned off from this area they have been told to move far away because uh, there are still rescue operations that are still going on uh, we have the uh, representative of the government here we have uh, Re red cross officials who are here who uh, who have been rescuing people and we've also gotten to speak to some survivors who uh, had survived the fire which uh, uh, which was yesterday and a little bit of history uh, yesterday the the cause of the fire from the residents around here was um, in because of a vehicle that had stalled and uh the, the in the parking area there was a gas cylinder that was uh, leaking which was carried by a lorry and uh the person whose the person whose car was um, uh was maybe stalled was told not to uh, move around that area but he went ahead and moved and uh, unfortunately he's one of the people who has succumbed uh, to to this particular fire so therefore the car that was stalled is what uh, caused the fire around this area and it has really uh, done a lot of damage when when you look at this area and even around the building that is just behind where the parking was has been really destroyed we have residential areas around here electricity is not is no longer um available in this area so uh we've also had kenya power officials coming here to try and look at the situation and look at what they can do in order for them to uh retrieve the electricity around this area so therefore The latest right now is um, rescue operations are going on and uh, people are being taken to the hospitals. We have uh, we've seen some people who have been burnt uh, very badly. So therefore, uh, that is what we are waiting for. Uh, once uh, the government spokesman speaks to us, I'll be able to give you the latest workshop. Na mapengine Kelvin kabla uondoke vile vile tulikuwa tunashuhudia ama tunasikia awali baadhi ya wale ambao wameponea wakieleza jinsi umbali wa tukio hili ama mkasa huu. Pengine unapokuwa hapo ukitueleza mm. mkasa huu uliweza kufika mfano kwa kiwango kipi? Kama kilomita ngapi hivi ama mita ngapi kutoka hapo ambapo tunazungumzia waathiriwa kwa mfano? Hebu tueleze. Um, kasa huu uh, naweza sema uh, kutoka uh, kutoka eneo hili uh, ni kama kilomita kilomita moja hivi kwa sababu ukiangalia uh, the rebels of the car of the car that was destroyed went up to uh, almost 200 meters away from the uh, from the area of of uh, of, uh, of of it burning to the next house which was a residential area to the rooftop of that you can imagine from the ground almost four floors up um we had the the the, the mangled wreck of the car being flipped so it, it it reached over almost a kilometer away even even when we were coming to this area uh, the uh, quick mat that is just uh, almost five, 500 meters away you could hear the smell of smoke so therefore it's it's almost close to a kilometer away uh, because uh, even the houses that are just 
uh, maybe next to this place, their window panes are, uh, are, uh, have been shattered. The, the, buildings, the, the buildings that are maybe six floors high, six, six floors high, their, their, their window panes have been, have been shut down. Uh, that noise that you've just heard is the sound box. Uh, it's not another explosion. Sorry for that. So therefore, uh, it's almost close to 500 meters and a kilometer away. Mm. Na Kelvin vile vile swali lingine ambalo linaibuka kuhusiana na mkasa huu. Je, wakazi maeneo hayo wali, uh, walikuwa wame, wametoa tahadhari yoyote? Walikuwa wametoa malalamisho yote kuhusiana na kuwepo kwa kituo hicho cha kuuza gasi maeneo hayo pengine kilio chao kilikuwa kimesikizwa kulikuwa na kesi yoyote pengine ilikuwa mahakamani. Unapozungumza na wakazi hapo wanasema nini? Manake hii inaonekana kuwa hatari ambayo ilikuwa kabla ya mkasa huu ambao tunazungumzia. Nam Kabisa, um, in 2020, I remember there was that uh, petition that was put forward for uh, just trying to reduce the, the gases that are being sold in the residential areas. But now speaking to the residents around this area, there was, uh, there was no, um, maybe say, uh, maybe some, some uh, uh, maybe police had come maybe and said that we can't sell gas over here. The officials around this area, also the MP around this area, uh, there was nothing like that that was put forward so therefore they were just going on with their normal life uh, it wasn't something that they they had overseen or they had seen coming to uh, to happen so therefore it's something that uh, we can clearly see that it's uh, it was neglected so therefore they, 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 everyone was doing their business as normal so therefore and speaking to other residents also they were watching football so at the time of the explosion they were watching football so therefore this area has been a parking area for a very long time. Mhm. Yeah. Mm Ngam bila shaka yeah. sana Kelvin Yakundi tutakuwa tunarudi hapo baada